What is going on, members of the Burger Empire? Brian here for Body by Burgers. And another weekend has passed and another CrossFit sanctioned event has come and gone. But first, before I get to that, I want to thank you all for your support on my Wadapalooza recap video because it is performing better than I could have ever expected. And especially for uh, a channel my size, um, you guys have pushed it to like 240 views and, and I expected about 30. So thank you so much for that support. It means a lot to me. So the CrossFit Championships that had passed or the sanctioned event that had passed this weekend was the Australian CrossFit Championships. And first and foremost, I apologize to you guys for not giving you a preview video on it. But honestly, the coverage and the updates previously weren't actually that great when it came to the Aussie Championships. Every time I tried to find, um, you know, the contestants that were going or, you know, a leaderboard or trying to give you some sort of preview, I couldn't find anything. I went right to their website, like, look at the leaderboard, and all that you've seen from the leaderboard was the people that have qualified from their online qualifiers, and I didn't see, or I couldn't find a comprehensive list of any of the athletes that were actually going to the Aussie CrossFit Championship. So basically all I had for you guys was what they posted on their Instagram after the event had already passed. Um, you know, I had seen some of the names um, during the event where I was like, okay, they're probably going to do well and, and I maybe could have done an update for you guys this weekend, but I thought it was just better off to give you the full recap, um, from the event. And I'm going to start this one off with the ladies recap because we get to see the, for the very first time, what happens when somebody wins two CrossFit sanctioned events. So Sam Briggs comes and just dominates the entire event. Like she literally won every event, I think, except for one. So good on her because she took home $7,000 of prize money. So between that and the Dubai Fitness Championship, she's set for the year. Um, but really, she came first, Madeline Sturt came second, and Simone Arthur came third. But since Sam Briggs already punched her ticket to the CrossFit Games, Madeline Sturt gets to go to the Games, right? So that's the way it kind of works. If you finish first, and you've already punched your ticket to the games, the preceding person gets the invite. Well, what happens if one and two end up already having their ticket to the games? Well, then three gets their invite. So there's always going to be somebody that qualifies for the games out of these sanctioned events, or the sanctionals, as they have been affectionately referred to. Um, so yes, top three, Sam Briggs, Madeline Sturt, and uh, Simone Arthur, and Sam Briggs did it in just incredibly dominating fashion she um won every event but one and she only lost i shouldn't say she only came in second uh on the event that she didn't win by like one or two seconds so congrats to sam briggs for just being overall dominant and showing that crossfit can be a lengthy sport she's keeping up with all the young pups out there and, and showing them a new trick or two despite being the older dog so to speak out there. In the men's competition, uh, the top three, if I were to pick, like I would have put Con Porter somewhere in there because I do believe he actually competed, but I can't find the actual answer to if he did compete or not. Um, but the top three, we had James Newberry, Baden Brown, and Zeke Grove. I probably would have had, if I could have found a list beforehand I probably would have had you know James Newberry, Zeke Grove and Con Porter in there somewhere because they're all previous games athletes uh, but what this means for the men James Newberry has punched his ticket to the games so Con Porter and Zeke Grove are I guess gonna have to try and qualify somewhere else I guess um, and the teams we were looking at team Project X with uh, first team Torin Black for second and team Reebok CrossFit Frankston finishing third. Um, so literally right now, um, the, the three uh, teams, men and women that are going to the games, um, on the men's side, we've got Matt Frazier, Pat Vellner, and James Newbery. For the women, we have Sam Briggs, Tia Claire Toomey, and Madeline Sturt. And on the team end, we have Invictus, uh, Team Romwad and Wit, and Project X all going to the games. With that being said, 
Wednesday. I'm going to have a new video up for you guys because there is a another sanctioned event coming this weekend. It is the Fittest in Cape Town or the Cape Town Fittest Championship, something to that effect. Uh, but there's actually a leaderboard on there and there's actually a list of people that have qualified and that are actually going there. So I can actually give you guys a preview for that one. Um, this one was just quick because I didn't get to watch it. I didn't get to see a lot of the updates simply because there wasn't a lot of updates. It was mostly just what you could see on their Instagram and Facebook page. None of it was really live. No, there's no highlights. Nothing like that. So that is the video today, guys. Just to recap the Aussie CrossFit Championships and who's all going to the games again. Um, so top three men, James Newberry, Baden Brown, and Zeke Grove. Top three women, Sam Briggs, Madeline Sturt, Simone Arthur, and the teams were Project X, Torn Black, Reebok, CrossFit, Frankston, and the ones that have punched their tickets to the games. Not all of them finished first. So we had James Newberry, Madeline Sturt, and Team Project X. So thank you for watching the video today, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up in that little box down below somewhere, you know, here or wherever. You know, comment in the comment section below if you were kind of surprised that the Aussie Championships maybe didn't have as much co uh, coverage as you were hoping for, seeing as most of the high-end athletes are coming from Australia now. Um, and don't forget to subscribe because it is the only way to become a member of the Burger Empire. I'm going to try my best to continue these videos for you guys because if there's anything that the Wadapalooza video that I did uh, proved, it's that you guys are enjoying this content. So thank you very much. And until next time, everybody, Burger Power.